Now before you start hating on me, hear me out. So I just got done playing Metal Gear Solid 5 and I thought it was atrocious. Now there's gonna be a lot of spoiler heavy details in this vlog so if you still wanna play the game then go ahead and skip this video entirely. But if you haven't played the game and you're cautious about it then you may wanna hear me out. So what's wrong with Metal Gear Solid 5 and why does it suck? And then if it sucks then why is it getting 10 out of 10 reviews on IGN and the likes? People seem to have really liked this game. Did they forget what a Metal Gear Solid game is supposed to be? Have they never played a Metal Gear Solid game before? Or perhaps they've been too busy since Metal Gear Solid 4 came out playing Far Cry games to remember what a Metal Gear Solid game is supposed to be. Metal Gear Solid 5 is like 95% gameplay and 5% story, which is fine for any other game not calling itself Metal Gear. When I play a Metal Gear Solid game, I expect to be on my butt with my controller, playing with my controller for 5 minutes, putting it down, watching an hour long cutscene, and repeat. Gameplay, putting it down, watching a cutscene. This game was like, I'm playing a Far Cry game. I can't emphasize enough how much I was looking forward to a Metal Gear Solid game. This game is a 10 out of 10 if you ignore the fact that its title is Metal Gear Solid 5. There's this great opening with all this crazy supernatural stuff and then you're thrown into the game and you basically learn how to build a base and then you go on all these missions that aren't really that connected to each other to be honest and then you recruit all these soldiers and you meet Ocelot who acts nothing like Ocelot in the Metal Gear Solid series and then you meet this quiet character who's the only character that even resembles a character from a Metal Gear game and it's just a mess. So basically at the end of the game you find out that you weren't actually playing as Big Boss. Now if you were me you're thinking wow that pretty much renders the entire game pointless. Link's Awakening it was a dream the whole time. You know it's a real shame because Metal Gear Solid 5 was supposed to be the missing link. It was supposed to tell us how the great soldier Big Boss Naked Snake from Metal Gear Solid 3 went from soldier to villain. But instead we went on this merry-go-round of tricks. So the ending betrays Metal Gear Solid. The game itself doesn't feel like Metal Gear Solid. Understand that when I say that Metal Gear Solid 5 sucks, it's only coming from a hardcore Metal Gear Solid fan. I understand that if you've never played a Metal Gear Solid game before, or if you're a casual fan, this might seem like a fantastic game to you. But going into this game, wanting that Metal Gear Solid experience, this is an extremely disappointing game. It does not feel like Metal Gear Solid. Billy D. Williams, who played Lando Calrissian in Star Wars, is going to be at the Santa Rosa Toy Expo. That will be on Saturday, September 26th. Be there, because he's gonna be there, and also I'm gonna be there. And then the next day, Sunday, September 27th, the Sacramento Toy Expo, where Cam Clark, who voices Liquid Snake in the Metal Gear Solid series, is going to be there, and also, I will once again be there too. Alright guys, thanks for watching the Bridge Vlog. I'll see you guys every Tuesday and Friday.